This is Zer Tap Tap. We're back at back in 1995. So it turns out there's a fake ending to this game. Um, thanks to Eski Eskerkins for tipping me off to that. Yes, Parker. Hello. Um, so we're just gonna apparently. Yeah, what we saw is a fake ending. You're supposed to go back in the building. I, I'm not sure how you're supposed to really know that, other than the the title changes to be you know. HD. I guess that was my tip off, and also that you, when you start off, you have a gun, you know, which we had before. So it's continuing off. It's not just nothing. Um, oh, and and that guy's gone. I'm not sure what happened there. Speaking of what happened, I uh, upgraded my sound drivers, and it uh, removed all of my audio devices and messed up this recording. So I'm doing post recording here. So. Uh, I'm not entirely sure why. I guess I was looking for all my delicious pills. You can grab the pipe wrench again and replace your gun with it for no apparent reason. Um, I just want to say the I, I tried fiddling. Uh, I actually cut it off, but uh, I tried fiddling with the controller things just to see if it worked once I was doing this recording, and nope, the controller support still totally it doesn't support controllers, basically. Um, I think I'm dealing with Parker at this point in the video. Sorry about that. Uh, I'm dealing with Parker right now, too, but it's a little easier when I don't have to actually do things. Isn't that right? Who's annoying? Yes. Yes. See, this is this is easy mode. I can just, I can pet Parker without having to uh, actually operate the game. <laughs> what are you doing? He just leapt up and like swung his paw like he was trying to get me. She's just getting pets. Sorry, I should really have a Parker cam for videos. So the big deal is that we got a flashlight here. Like, it's a very Silent Hill pocket flashlight. Then we get a Chivo for that. <laughs> there was the one hint that we weren't done with the game that I should have noticed but didn't is that there's two more achievements that I didn't get. I thought they were just for something specific. As soon as I turned the flashlight on, I realized something was off. I don't remember any of this being here. What was this strange light? I strained my eyes and stared into the light. The flashlight's beam illuminates the dark room with its gentle glow, section after section. This isn't right. Light doesn't behave this way. Is this a dream? Why did Why did I close that so fast? Parker. Ah, uh, but yeah. So it, it's going. It's doing more of a PlayStation One callback. If you turn off the flashlight, it's pitch black. Now. Um, I'll go ahead and save you some disappointment, or maybe just induce some disappointment. Um, I was hoping there was a lot more to the game. There isn't. It's only about you know. You can see the length of the video. There's there's not much more. Um, that's just a waste of bullet there. Parker, could, could you calm down? I know I'm not helping you calm down by petting you, but still. I need to do more recording after this, Barker, and you're being very uncalm. Can we jump out the window? Nope, we can't jump out the window. Darn it. Man, I hate doing post-commentary. It sucks. This is me trying to go into that stupid... Uh, I'm wondering where you're supposed to go, because you, you're, <laughs> you're actually teleported out of here in the main game, once he answered the phone. But we just gotta go back up to the roof. Parky. You know, fun fact is that loading times are actually exaggerated on the PlayStation 1 because of certification stuff. Like, you had to show the saving icon for X amount of seconds, or Sony would like say, no, you can't do that. This once familiar place looked distorted. My broken memories of the scenery were in disarray. Now my memories are one. Maybe these segmented surroundings were odd from the start. Light bounces off the walls, illuminated the dark. The world opens up before my very eyes. I've been coming back here to fool myself. Parker, seriously, get down. Ahem. See, so the world's a little different now. <laughs> um, turns out to not really be a big deal. I did enjoy this game for what it was. Like, I enjoyed the idea of this game visually. It works pretty well. Uh, it just needs a lot more. It, it feels like a really good, almost excessively long Kickstarter demo, but it doesn't feel like a full game. Like, if this were like 
five to ten hours with you know more story some more monsters proper music um i would take the visuals but just i mean more environments uh it would just feel really good and it just doesn't quite have that um like if i were to compare it to any one section of equal length from silent hill it would just be way way below it. like the elementary school just playing the elementary school in silent hill pretty damn great but this doesn't really have even <coughs> you know even against something that compact this is just missing a lot elevator yeah here i'm just poking around looking for where you go you're just supposed to walk through and find some documents here i hate post commentary <clears throat> As my eyes adapt to the scenery before me, the sense of discomfort begins to fade. My mind isn't getting any younger. No matter how many times I look in the past, the more I reminisce, the more I realize how vibrant and alive I was back then. It feels awful. There's no point to it. I can't change the past. See, they're kind of trying to punch you in this nostalgia boner, I guess. I don't know. It doesn't feel very justified honestly like, I, I get what they're trying to do link the gameplay with the story like you know oh things weren't really that great back then and <clears throat> you need to move on but I, like maybe if it was an evo land thing well even then I, I don't know it just doesn't quite work as well and here you can get a third wrench as you know why not I was really hoping it would say that I have three wrenches but no it's just infinite wrenches Here's these things. And these things, they just lack, I think what these things lack, you know, there's, there's so few features, they don't even feel like, <coughs> they need like a mouth or like some reason to exist. Like the creepy kid things, like they hug your leg and you know, it's like they're trying to grab their parents or something and the dogs, you know, they try to bite and feed and these things, they just, they lack, it's like they lack motivation. I gaze my memories through rose-tinted glasses. The better times I long for will be misinterpreted deep inside me as long as they're not forgotten. Even if I try to reclaim my innocence to start over from the beginning, the truth is that I'll always be stuck in the past. So yeah, more guilt tripping for liking the past, I guess. I, don't know, I, I thought the, the twist of him being stuck in 1995, that was a neat idea. Um, I don't know. It, it feels like the game's just trying to berate us for liking the past at this point, though. What defines oneself? To answer that question, it's not a bad idea to probe the past regarding your origins. Though, try as I might, I cannot change the past. There's nothing there except the me that's been there all along, withered and tired of living. Because, I mean, the narratives don't really line up with, you know... Real nostalgia, you can make good things in the style of the past right now, and it's not diminished by, you know, looking in the past. Uh, whereas, you know, this guy actually being stuck in the past is an actual problem. So, uh, I don't really... Eh. <coughs> so here, and here we can see, I swear the warping effect just gets worse as the game goes on like that's that's the ps1 has some silly graphical stuff but it doesn't do that i wonder if it's because of the size of the texture maybe i just can't deal with that i don't know this scenery there was nothing special about it everything was just so new to me back then filled with wonder nothing more to chase that illusion is to move backwards i've simply grown old that's it I can never go back to the way things were. See, it's kind of getting heavy-handed at this point. And... It especially doesn't work when it, you know, doesn't really look as good as Silent Hill. The one important thing is you can step on this stupid tiger circle rug. I'm just gonna walk all over it because screw you, rug. You wouldn't walk on, let me walk on you before, but now... Now, now I'm the boss.
since music is just this one note. There's obviously notes on the table, but we can't touch them. There, the, the polygon effect there is kind of decent. It, it's never quite that erratic, but it, it can be pretty, you know, z fighty on the PS1. Sorry, I'm drinking some coffee here. We got a lot of videos to record today, and I was really not looking forward to having to re-record. The problem with doing post-commentary... Yeah, this is an invisible wall for some reason. Game hadn't really done that until now, not really sure why. <laughs> like, I guess there's nothing beyond there, but... Like, no new content, but still... Blocking it off feels kind of... Awkward. And you can go through this way... For whatever reason. Yeah, the, the, the problem with post-commentary is it doubles my time. Like, even though I already played through all this crap, I have to watch it minute by minute and talk over it again. It's not even as good, in my opinion. Like, you could do super cuts of, like, if I were going to do, like, just joke it up and stuff, um, I could probably do stuff, but, I mean, that would require pretty decent acting and jokes. Like, I do jokes, but, I mean, it's not really a comedy sort of thing. Like, it's commentary and it doesn't work as well this way and like I said it's a complete waste of my time at this point because I mean I already commentated all of this stuff I just lost my recording I should really double capture my recording I briefly did that with Camtasia because it kept screwing stuff up uh, maybe I should start doing this with I mean an unthinkable terror takes control of me am I no different than he who spent 20 years running away Aren't we the same from now on? Will I lead a min meaningless life? There's no way to reclaim my own life. I close my eyes in silence and let go. <coughs> it's not really the recording software's fault. I just upgraded my sound driver and it somehow removed my mic and didn't put it back on, even though it was plugged in. I don't even know. So yeah, there's like developer commentary here. Uh, it's kind of too hard to read. Uh, so yeah, this is a developer from back in 1995. Like, it goes by really fast. So thanks for buying the game. How the controls feel clumsy? I bet you haven't felt anything like that in the world. My complaint is they're not realistically clumsy. Like, I guess early computer controls were bad too, but <laughs> the gamepad controls are just broken. Like, they, they just don't work at all. I tried manually remapping them. No, that doesn't work. Um, like, the, the triggers aren't recognized. Um, and my character just spins constantly if I use controller support. So I, I guess they didn't have controllers to test with. And they just thought it was okay, I guess. I, I don't know. But it's been a few weeks from a release now, and it's not fixed. So I don't think it's going to be fixed. I hope you're reading <laughs> the text. I, I can't read it fast enough. It's just too fast. I really like the idea of this. I am i don't really agree with the slant they eventually ended up going with. With, oh, things aren't really that, you know, hey, it's just nostalgia. Things weren't really that great back then. It's like, I think that's a dumb way to take it because there's definitely something interesting about how a Silent Hill works, you know, how games worked against their limitations. Like, um... Mega Man Legends look really damn good, like really good cartoon look with low, low poly, low tech, um, you know, pixel art textures. They do a really damn good job. They have animated face stuff and they even have 3D looking like you can see into a character's mouths, but it's just a texture. They just, it's just really well designed for that exact camera angle. It's, you know, there's a lot of amazing technical stuff going on in these old games and, um, <coughs> Like, they, there's a article somewhere about how, like, the Crash devs, like, the game just barely fits in the PS1's memory limit. So, like, they had to do crazy stuff to make the games work. And that's really cool and interesting. And then there's stuff like Silent Hill, where the minimal, like, you could just barely tell stuff, what stuff is, and there's just, there's just enough detail to let your mind wander and, you know, imagine how grim these things are. And it really works well. I think that's a lot more interesting to, you know, reference in a game than, oh, hey, things weren't that great. You were just, you know, young and things were cool and new. 
Oh, hold on, we gotta take all these pills. Lots of pills. The, the, the real ending is that this guy just <coughs> gets addicted to painkillers and just eats pills for the rest of his life. Yeah, I, I, like, some stuff is definitely nostalgia, but it doesn't need harping on quite to the level that the post-game in this game does. And I think there was a lot more interesting stuff to cover. Why back now, after all this time? I don't get this, by the way. That's the end. That's just the actual end, and it doesn't make much sense to me. But here's the credits. I guess I should have noticed that the earlier credits, you know, we did the cheap short credits, so I guess I should have known that that's the hint of a fake credit sequence. But, like, most good credit fake-outs, like Donkey Kong Country 1, it gives you those fake credits, and then King K. Rule gets back up and the music gets awesome. That is how... That is how a fake ending should go, in my opinion. Or, like, you suddenly get dumped directly back into the game instead of waiting for me to press start again, and then everything looks the same. But, uh... <laughs> that's back in 1995? I would love to see it back in 1996, or, you know, whatever. You know, Super Mario 65. Uh, but... <coughs> like I said, it just kind of needs more of almost everything. Retro 3D shader. I guess that's what the fake slidey thing is. Like, the fake warping. It works kind of well sometimes. It works, looks pretty bad some other times. But yeah, this was an interesting experiment, at least. And I try to make sure everything I show is at least interesting, if not, you know, amazing. Like, an interesting failure is a lot better to me than an okay game with no interesting features at all. Isn't that right, Parker? Yes. Anyway, ugh, I'm covered with hair now, Parker. I, have, I already have bad allergies, but yeah. That is not back in 1995. Thanks for watching. <coughs> yes, Parker.